Okay, how you doing? My name is Bobby Plouffe from Equip to Endure. I'm going to do a little bit of navigation with you. I'm going to show you how to box an obstacle. Uh, it's pretty quick. I know that a lot of times people like uh, less is more sometimes, so um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually show you how to box an obstacle. It's a pretty simple, it's pretty basic. A couple of things before I start is you have to know what your paces are. And you actually have to know what the declination is for your area. And then after that, going from point A to point B, it's, it's pretty basic and then but actually boxing is pretty basic. I'm going to show you. It's really easy. We're going to call this B. This is where you're trying to get to. Okay, so that's where you're trying to get to. This is A. A and, A and B. That's where you're trying to get to. So, well, so on your way there, because most maps are pretty old, they won't actually show you what's new or if a beaver has gotten in the area and they've made a dam, anything could happen, a stream could move because of an earthquake or anything, anything could happen. So here we go, this is a pond, okay? So there's a pond. It's not supposed to be there, but it is there. So in order to get around it, what we're doing is, say this angle of travel it's 200 degrees. So we need to get around this. We're not going to go through that because it's a pond. We don't know how deep it is. We could drown. One of the things is when you're in a survival situation, you want to try to stay dry. So to, even not in a survival situation, you want to try to avoid hypothermia if you can. So all we're going to do is we're going to go around this object. There's a, there's a couple of key things here. I'm going to write this down. I know I'm going to be in the way, but I'll move and you'll see what it is. Okay, now that I'm out of your way, we're going to go with the uh, acronym right raise, left lower, okay? So everything is going to be in 90 degrees, okay? So everything is 90 degrees. So if you're on a 200 and say you want to get around this obstacle, if you go right of the obstacle, you raise it 90 degrees. So now if you raise it 90 degrees, this would be 290 degrees. If you were going to go to the left, what would it be? 110, right? Okay, so now the most important part is for you to count here and here, count your paces. So now if your pace is say 100 paces here, you wanna write that down. You get on your 200 track. So you get 100 paces, you go past it, then you got to go left. So you lower it 90 degrees. This is 200, right? You're on your same track of 200. What is it? 110. And from here to here will be 100 paces. So remember, Right raise, left lower, off of 90 degrees, off of your original track. Pretty basic, pretty simple, easy to remember. If you have any more questions, email me at uh, Bobby at Equip to Endure. Just remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thank you.